hey guys so welcome back to my channel today i am kicking off a new interview series called sql wednesdays every wednesday i will be solving sql interview questions to help us pass our sql interviews i'll be starting with easy sql interview questions and then progressively we'll move on to the medium and hard questions and one of the reasons I'm starting this series is also to help me get more familiar and hone my SQL skills. So please, if you have um, alternative solutions, please, you can drop them in the comment section. Let's learn from each other. In solving the questions, I'll be going through three steps. And the step one is to understand the question, know what the output is supposed to be, and also state any assumptions I will be making for that particular question. The step two is after writing the query, I'm going to test it and try and check for any edge cases I must have missed out while writing my query initially. And then the third step is to also come up with optimizations for my code and check if there are any ways I could optimize any part of the query that I have written. So with all of this said, these are the three steps I'll be highlighting in how I go about solving my questions. And I hope that it helps you. So let's jump right into the video. So guys, um, I have this question here in Strata Scratch. It's um, a question from Microsoft and it's an easy question. So let's get into it. The question says, we have a table with employees and their salaries. However, some of the records are old and contain outdated salary information. Okay. Find the current salary of each employee, assuming that salaries increase each year okay so find the current salary of each employee assuming that salaries increase each year okay outputs their id first name last name department id and the current salary okay order your list by the employee id in ascending order okay guys so giving this question um, an assumption I'm going to make, and it's not really an assumption because the question says that um, they have a table with employees and the salaries and that some of the records are old and contain outdated salary information. So what this here tells me is that there might be duplicated records. And so they, I have to find a way to take out the duplicated records. But before I go into trying to solve the question, I'm going to click on this button here that says preview. And it's going to show me what the table looks like. So this is what the table looks like. We have the ID, the first name, our last name, the salary, and the department ID. And we can see that the department ID, we have one. Like it, some, some of the employees are duplicated. For example, we have Todd Wilson, Todd Wilson. And given this, we want to keep the this one, the 110,000. Um, dollars for Todd Wilson instead instead of the one hundred and six. Okay, okay. So that's from the table MS employee salary. Now this is how I go about solving my question. The first thing I want to do is to um, output the what the what they want me to output. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is my expected output columns. They want the ID, the first name, the last name, the department ID, and the current salary. Okay, now that I have gotten um, the expected columns output, the next thing I want to do is to... So they said they want the maximum salary, so my, I need to get the max, max salary. Okay, they want this per... Each person so I'm going to do that per first name and last name okay so I'm going to do this per first name per last name and um, yeah so I think that's pretty much what I want to do so I'm going to write my from MS employee salary table 
So the from keyword here is, uh, it means that I want to select my records from the table. And then what am I selecting? I'm se going to select my columns that I need. Now the columns that I need is the ID. I need my ID. I need the first name, last name. department id and then i want my i want the salary but remember the question says they want the maximum salary so this is going to be max okay from this this is not the full question because it says that it wants the current salary of each employee assuming that they increase each year so this is going to give me the maximum salary but then i haven't specified that it's per first name last name so i'm going to do that right now so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to group so that will take care um of the duplicated values so the first thing i want to do is to group by everything here apart from i'm going to go by everything there apart from the salary and if i run this let's see how that looks like okay yeah it looks good but i'm not going to leave this as the solution because the question says to order my list by employee id so i'm going to go ahead and order by employee id which is id now if i run this now it is yeah and let me click on solved yeah so this is it so this is what it looks like and this looks good okay now that's solved that's correct um in, in terms of what i can do to optimize this solution uh, so i'm using max just max um, extra function over here in my query and the question has asked us to find the maximum salary so i believe um there isn't much i can do to optimize this query but please let me know in the comment section if you have a better solution or a more optimized solution and yeah we can go through it together so guys um that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment down below to let me know if you enjoyed watching this video and what topics you want me to touch on my next video all right till then bye